people impacted by the 2014 tainted water crisis are still waiting for their settlement checks. Yeah, some may have to wait a little longer because of deficiency within their claims. 13 News reporter Lily Bradley has more on the letters sent out and what they mean to those who are still waiting to get their money. It's like kind of up in the air. Am I going to be found eligible or not? That's how small business owner Frank Hall describes waiting. The documentation is not adequate. Hall is one of the dozens of business owners around the area who received a deficiency letter from the Water Settlement Claims Administrator. There's some piece of information missing from their form. Most of the people just skipped a box or they put in a, an address that doesn't exist because they added a, a zero. According to attorney Kevin Thompson, more than 9,000 letters were sent out this week, sparking panic in people like Frank still waiting for their settlement claim to be approved. I'm going to send in absolutely all of it that is required and just hope that that will be adequate. If you received a letter, don't panic. Thompson says it's an easy fix. The letter will tell you exactly what you need to provide and when you need to provide it by, which is July 26th. An easy fix to a process that's been anything but simple, according to Hall. It was something that I did not expect. I thought that it was going to be a simple process. I will be surprised if we get a coupon for a free frosty <laughs> before the deal is all said and done. In Sissonville, I'm Lily Bradley, 13 News, working for you. Well, now again, the additional information must be submitted before July 26th or your claim will be denied. And once those claims are processed, people should expect to see their checks around the beginning of August.